Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kid Lee, and this is going to be my recap of the Microsoft press event that was held at E3 2013. I'm going to be going over just general news of some of the items that were announced and give a few impressions on some of the things that they showed. Microsoft kicked off the show with the brand new Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain. Uh, this game is going to feature much more of an open world compared to the previous games, a new stealth system, they talked about random weather. It was really interesting when they actually showed the, the gameplay. They were doing this sort of music sequence, and it came across as like a very James Bond almost type feeling. They did some gameplay that showed sort of like on horseback and and some of the visuals it it also reminded a lot of people of of Red Dead Redemption so it'll be interesting to see how that game turns out next they went into the Xbox 360 a little bit and talked about they're going to be coming out with a, a new version or new model of that and it also sounds like they're going to be redoing the dashboard yet again they then jumped into some of the new games that are going to be coming out for the 360. They talked about World of Tanks, and they also said that that game will be free for anybody who has the gold membership. They jumped into another game, another new game, that is going to be called Max, The Curse of Brotherhood. It looked like it was sort of a cartoony action-adventure, maybe a little bit of platforming type game. They then announced that Dark Souls 2 will be out for the 360. At that point, they then said that everything from this point on is going to be new Xbox One games. And the first game that they showed out of the gate was Rise Son of Rome. Now, visually, this game looked very impressive on the Xbox One. It's going to be sort of a up close hack and slash type game it's also going to have some squad based tactics in it as well as squad based and group based commands now i've seen some games that do some, do kind of the elements separate like you'll have a, a hack and slash or you'll have sort of a squad based game or maybe a squad and group based command game but i don't think i've ever seen one that kind of combines all of the elements together they showed some really interesting things which I'll put up a couple of the videos up on on the screen here you men form up on me now So as you can see, that looks pretty cool. Some people were not very happy with, as it appears, the game has a, a on-screen prompt for like executions. And so they thought that that kind of maybe pulls you out of the, out of the game a little bit when you're trying to do all this hack and slash type stuff. So that game looks really interesting. So to be see what, uh, what becomes of, of that one. They then jumped into another new game. They announced that Killer Instinct is coming back and will be a new game for the Xbox One. And they will have a, a fight stick that comes along with the game. I'm sure it's going to be a separate purchase, but a fight stick nonetheless. So that should be pretty interesting. The next new game they showed was called Sunset Overdrive. It's going to be an open world 
sort of very colorful zombie based shooter and they had a, a lot of really quick movement in the game and they use these zip lines similar to Bioshock Infinite so that would be another game to keep an eye on they then jumped into Forza 5 and with Forza they pretty much do the same thing every year it's like oh here here's the cars it looks better every year and the the one new feature that they did talk about was a feature called Drivatar and basically the game as you play it the game is going to learn how you drive and how you play and then if you have friends that also play the game it will learn how they drive and how they act on the track and so when you're actually playing against the the NPCs the NPCs will actually use that information to act more realistic they then announced that Minecraft will be coming to the Xbox one and it sounds like they will be able to expand on the servers and make the the building area and play areas much bigger maybe closer to the the PC version uh, they then jumped into Quantum Break, which we saw a little bit at the Xbox reveal event a couple of weeks ago. They then said that Quantum Break is going to have some sort of TV show tie-in. And they did a, a little bit of a sort of a gameplay demo. And the game looks like some sort of futuristic CSI type shooter. They They showed a scene where... There was basically a big explosion and a woman was caught in the explosion. So the character went in and was able to like freeze time, pull her out of the explosion so she wouldn't get hurt. So it would be kind of interesting to see what they do with that show and game. Uh, next they showed Project Spark. This one also looks really interesting and it's almost going to be kind of hard to describe it, but what they showed is it appeared to be some sort of game making tool now I'm not sure if it's actually going to be something that comes with Xbox one or something that you have to buy separately but they were using the smart glass technology and basically right in front of you they basically would pull up like a blank canvas and they'd say oh, add mountains and add grass and bushes and landscape and then they would add their characters and it was all done like very very quickly and then they could immediately start playing the game and then he went up to like a rock and he could start giving the rock like commands or stuff to do in the demo he made the rock a pet so then he'd run around and the rock would kind of bounce around and follow him then he went around and turned the rock into a combat rock and so then the rock started fighting for him and they were just doing all this crazy stuff and they were like in the middle of battles they were changing t the terrain and just doing all kinds of really goofy stuff so it'd be interesting to see exactly what you're able to do with that and and how that all works uh, as far as some new features they announced that the Xbox live and Xbox studio features uh, the Xbox well upload studio is what they actually called it is gonna be the tool that you can use to actually edit and do commentary on your in-game videos and then they announced that you will be able to use the Xbox one to actually do live streaming to twitch they then announced that anybody who has an Xbox live gold membership you will actually be able to start sharing that single membership with with people in your current house they then started to talk about more of the new Xbox One games. They showed Dead Rising 3, which is going to be an open world. It's going to be platforming. There's also going to be a bit of a building or crafting system in the game. They announced The Witcher 3, which is going to be free roaming and open world. They then announced Battlefield 4, which, well, was already pretty much announced before the the press event and you know as always Battlefield 4 looks looks great they announced another new game called Below which is gonna be sort of a, a top-down uh, move along possibly strategy game 
So that one should be interesting. They announced a game. Well, I guess I should say they, they showed a trailer for a game. And they gave no name to the game. It Basically, the trailer was like a spy just rappelling down the side of a building. And that's all they gave us. So some sort of spy game. Don't really know anything else about that. They did have a reveal trailer for the next Halo. They didn't say if it was Halo 5 or they didn't really give it a name. They did say that the this next Halo will run at 60 frames per second. So that will be very nice. And the last two items, the Xbox One will be $499 and will launch November 2013. They didn't give an exact date, they just said November 2013. And then finally, the last thing that they showed was a brand new game called Titanfall. This is going to be sort of a sci-fi, squad-based, first-person, and mech shooter. The demo that they showed was basically, you know, again, a futuristic sort of, you know, guy running around, you know, shooting stuff, and then... He could call down a mech, and the mech would basically land on the ground, and then he could jump into it, and then now it's like a mech game. So it's, I think they're trying to do something different because there's so many shooters out now and so many sci-fi shooters. So they're they're trying to do something a little different, and it definitely looks good. So it'd be interesting to see what they're able to do with it. So that will be the end of uh, this particular video. So stay tuned for the rest of my E3 coverage. So everybody keep playing and have fun.